632 hot rod series, totally streetable motor. I can't even get into the throttle on the bottom because it's blowing the dyno away. So half throttle, 956 foot-pounds, 1,752 foot-pound peak, 1,917 horsepower, 27 pounds of boost. Today what we're going to be testing is our 632 hot rod series with our brand new mirror image 88 millimeter turbochargers. You know, first of their kind, um, you know, clockwise and counterclockwise rotation and uh, I'm really proud of them and they just kicked ass on the dyno. Over 1600 horse on pump gas and we ended up snapping the dyno uh, before we were able to turn it up, but you know, 2200 horsepower easy on a street engine. You know, the thing about these motors is that, you know, our dyno, which is really, I, I feel like the best dyno in the industry, uh, when you start getting into these motors, they make so much torque so fast that it's hard not to hurt anything. That this motor makes over 1,600 pounds of torque on pump gas, and I can't even put the throttle in, into it uh, until I've loaded it and got it past the hash marks, and then you put the throttle into it, and it comes in so hard that you know, it's just really tough to find anything that'll live behind it. But it, that just shows you the actual sheer power of it. But it's nothing to say bad about the, our dyno. Our dyno is just, DTS has just been an amazing dyno for us. So here we are looking at the 632 Hot Rod Series, the very first billet mirror image 88 millimeter Nelson Racing turbochargers. Absolutely amazing to see these things in action. See the nice little billet wheel right there. A lot of the nice features about this turbo that we've done is we've cut the nose of the turbo back and put a V-band. So you get a V-band inlet, V-band outlet, and a V-band exhaust. And uh, we've cut it back for real estate. So if you need to get a big, you know, five inch pipe out past your radiator, you've got an extra inch and a half now with our turbo, which in our installations has always been a, a big deal. Uh, another big thing is that we've got speed sensors built into the turbocharger, so you can measure uh, turbine speed, you know, for like a Bonneville car. Um, it's just an insane piece. They work totally, like this motor just made 1630 horse on pump gas. And that is just ridiculous. You can get a nice view of this thing. It is just a beautiful piece. It's got our billet anteater, uh, billet alien intake, 632 inches, some of our stainless NRE headers with the Tile 60 gate. This is our 632 with the mirror image turbochargers. Fourteen hundred and ninety-two foot-pounds of torque, fifteen hundred and fifty-six horsepower, and climbing on pump gas at fourteen pounds of boost. This thing is just freaking meatballs. Look at that thing. Basically, sixteen hundred horsepower on pump gas.
566 horsepower. Look at that torque curve, man. Juicy. 22 pounds of boost. Oh yeah. Pretty ridiculous. got your two feeds your two returns and that's the whole system right there for the you know basically 2500 horsepower fuel system this is the entire wiring harness that goes to the motor you unclip this that's the whole 16 injectors draw position map temps everything that goes through that and it is just a nice piece but more exciting than anything is it's the first with the billet mirror image 88 millimeter turbocharger and they kick ass they even sound different it is really cool X32 hot rod series, totally streetable motor. I can't even get into the throttle on the bottom because it's blowing the dyno away. So a half throttle, 956 foot-pounds, 1,752 foot-pound peak, 1,917 horsepower, 27 pounds of boost. Testing this engine on VP fuel. We really had some awesome success with using VP. So this one's running C16 uh, above 16 pounds of boost. And we really have had a good luck with that fuel. Take a look at these bad boys. Just a beautiful turbocharger. V-band inlet, V-band outlet on the intake side, V-band exhaust outlet. Now this can be either three, I mean five or four inch V-band, so you don't have to run a transition. So if you want to run a straight four inch pipe, we've got a V-band for that. If you want a five inch, we've got a V-band for that with no transition. You can see the nice AR ratio. And this thing just kicks ass, really. Really excited about this engine.